Hi, fifth graders. I hope you guys are all doing well. This week, we are going to create our website. So last week, you guys were asked to um, gather information uh, on an endangered animal of your choice. If you have not yet done that research for uh, your endangered animal, you need to go ahead and do that first. So if you've not completed the assignment from last week, you are going to need to do that before you start your website because you'll be using that information to complete your website. Once you have your information next to you, we're going to go ahead and go up to your waffle and go down to sites. In sites, you're going to go ahead and create new Google Sites right here. Create new Google Sites. All right, so now that we're in here, we're going to do a blank project. I don't want you to use these templates uh, because they're a little bit more advanced and you're not able to edit them as much. So we're just going to start with a blank um, website. And I'm going to go ahead and click in here. And once I do, I'm going to want to title it just like any other Google Doc. Super important that you title it so that we know what that website name is. I'm going to ask you to put in as endangered animal and then your first name. That way I know who it belongs to. So that's how I want you to title your site. Then we need the title of your page. This is where you will put in your animal name. Doesn't matter to me uh, how you write this, whether you use the scientific name, you use the uh, general name, or if you use both. I'm going to do, as an example, the giant panda. So I'm going to click in here and erase what's here and just put in giant panda, okay? And because I want to, I'm gonna go ahead and hit return. I'm gonna come up here and center it and I'm gonna put the scientific name as well just because I think that'll look nice. Do you have to? No, but this is an option for you you need to have one or the other or both, okay? Got to have at least one of these, okay? Um, the next thing I'm going to do in this area is I'm going to change the image, and that can be done very, very easily. I'm going to go ahead and click on here, and I'm going to go to Select Image, and it's going to ask where am I selecting the image from. I'm going to do a search, and now I'm going to put in giant panda, okay? And I could see if I could find something that would work for a background. Now, maybe I don't like any of these because I only got one really. Maybe instead of giant panda, maybe I just put in pandas. Let's see what I get then. Oh, I got a lot more then. Okay, so that's a good spot. Maybe. Instead of that, I know that they live in southwestern China, so I might write southwestern China and do images for that. You know, you could decide what you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and search again, um, giant panda. Um, okay, this time I'm going to choose, oh, uh, let's see here. I like, I want something. It has lots of greens. You know what? I'm going to choose, I think, this one. And I'm going to hit select. All right. Now, notice it adjusts for uh, readability, which is kind of nice. It makes it so that you can read the font, which is just great. If I don't like that, I could just go to change image and change it to whatever I want. Also, if I click in here, maybe I don't like it being white, or uh, maybe I want to change the size. I could do all those things in here. Um, so there's some different options that you can kind of play with in there. The next thing that I need to do is add the next part of my website. Now, I am asking for you to have 
four additional sections in addition to the name. So you've got to have the name. That's one of your sections. Okay, so name with the picture behind it. But then you need four more sections. So you have a couple different options. You could do two of these sections. So I can click and then go ahead and click again. So I have them side to side and up and down. If I don't like that, I can hit the delete button right here on the side and that will get rid of it. The second option is to hit this button right here and that will give me four smaller sections. So you kind of decide what you want. How do you want your website to look? So you're either probably doing this option or this option. You could actually do this option as well and have the picture, but you would need two of these. So you'd have your picture, your text, picture, text, picture, text, picture, text. So um, some options here, okay? I'm gonna choose to do two of these. And so now I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna hit the plus sign here. It's gonna ask, what do you wanna put in there? Again, I wanna put in an image. So select uh, image and I wanna do a Google search and I'm gonna type in here this time, again, giant panda. And this first part, I'm gonna put just another picture of a giant panda. I'm gonna do, um, maybe, let's see here. I'm gonna get one that has a few of them. Let's try this one right here, insert. There we go. And for this one, I am going to put, um, let's see, I'm going to put what the animal looks like. So I'm going to type in here what the animal specifically looks like. Right now it's centered. I don't want to have it centered, so I'm going to hit a line left for the, sec for the typing section. And I might write something like giant pandas. are black and white animals. They are large and can weigh up uh, between 220 to 330 pounds. Typically, they are about four feet tall. All right, so I have just a few sentences about what they look like, okay? Over here, I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time I'm gonna select an image and do a Google image search. And this time I'm going to put what the animals eat. So I'm going to try to find an image of a panda bear eating food. And uh, let's see here. Food. And I'm going to write something like pandas eat bamboo. They typically eat between 26 and 84 pounds of bamboo a day. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. Down here, I might do something with habitat. And over here, I might put something about endangered animal and threats. Okay, and so I could put in here what the, you know, how many are left, what their what the threats are to them, um, how we can help protect them. Over here I could put where exactly do they live. 
I can have pictures on both of these. So this is just a real quick example of kind of what we're looking for. I have my one overall section and then I have four additional sections. So you need five sections total. Okay, You decide what you put as these titles. Okay, We did lots of research. We did research about you know, why they're endangered, what the threats were, how to help them, why they're important, conservation uh, sites that are related to them, where they live, what they eat, what they look like, how many are left. All of that can be put in here. You pick and choose what you want, but you do need four different sections with titles, with some text about them. Don't just put the titles. Make sure you add the text about them and then pictures for all of those. In the next video, I'll go through exactly how you're going to turn this in.